evening. Um, got a package in the mail today from China from AliExpress. And I had ordered these glitter pencils. Well, I did a review on this set last week. And I never did do my swatches. So these are the ones from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to turn on this light. It may help show the metallic a little more. Okay, these are the ones. These are put out by Marco. And like I said, I'm just now opening these. The box came a little crumpled, but I'm not noted for keeping packaging anyway. And some of the leads look a little boogered up. So we will do some sharpening too. But I thought what I would do is turn to a fresh area for swatches and um, just go ahead and try out these new colors. So let's see how they work. Okay, I was going to sit and sharpen all these real quick in my battery operated sharpener and then I picked this up and I thought a lot of people have problems with sharpeners I want to show you this is a cheap Walmart sharpener and no problem and these went through the mail from China so um, you know a lot of times things get banged up in the mail but these apparently are doing okay, even though some of the tips were broken. Um, they appear to be easy to sharpen, so I'll review that first. And again, it's just a cheap sharpener that's uh, from Walmart. Oh, actually, this one's Staples, the Office Superstore. So, sorry about that. I'm glad I looked at that. All right, um, most of you know by now I always do swatches on all of my colored pencils. So what we mainly want to check on right now, and I don't think that texture will hurt. Here, I've been working on this painting. Flip this over. Use this as a solid surface. Um, anyway, I want to just test these and see how the colors are. I always do the square and then I go from dark hard pressure getting lighter and lighter <coughs> excuse me I will tell you right away these do not disappoint oh my gosh these are creamy they are very easy to go on And, look at y'all, it's actually got writing on it. <laughs> so many times, pencils don't have writing on them. Now they all have the same writing, so that's pretty much a bummer. But they have writing on them. Um, this other set, they're not numbered either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my label maker out and make numbers and put on all these so I'll know which is which but I want you to see can you see that it's got just a little bit of metallic to it I think it caught it there for a minute alright so hang on let's do this right if you're gonna do it do it right Okay, I'm back again. Um, this has got to be the most disorganized I've ever been for a, for a YouTube video. So, I just printed off all of these. And I'm just going to start here. And put numbers on these. And generally, I go color of the rainbow, and I'll start with the lighter yellows, silvers, gold, stuff like that, and go all the way through. But, seeing how I'm going to mix these two sets, 
I am going to go through and instead of putting the numbers on yet, I am going to lay that to the side and I am going to make all my swatches first. And what I do is I will lay them with the pencil so that it doesn't get lost from which one it is. And then I will go back through and put them in an order that I like and then label them all, and then go ahead and put them into the ring after I've got them in, a, in an order that I know I like. But I am going to mix my metallic pencils, okay? I'm not going to keep them separated because they are metallics, and I just don't see the need for it. Even if one is a wax base and one is not, I'm still going to mix. And I believe that, um, I don't know, these feel like they're an oil base. And I know Marco puts out an oil base pencil, but I wouldn't swear to it. But um, can you see that? The little bit of shine. It's not a high shine as far as a metallic. Um, it's not... I don't think they're as metallic-y as this brand is. This is that brand I got from Hobby Lobby one day last week. So let's check it out. But can you hear these scratch? These are a lot more scratchy, whereas the other brand is a lot softer and smoother. Even as I try to get lighter, as I come across. I always do that just to show a fade. And can you see the shimmer on that? Yeah, see that's got a lot more metallic in it than the Marcos do. Let's try another Marco metallic and see what's what's going on here. These are a whole lot smoother, but smooth, if it's not metallic and not what I'm wanting, doesn't account for a lot, okay? If it's not what I want and it doesn't work, then it still doesn't work. These are a good creamy pencil, and I do like them. And if I keep going over it like I am right now, and that's metallic. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there you go. See, that's a metallic now. So it may just be some of these are better metallics than others. But I'm going to go through and do all of these, and then I will put them in order, and then put them in my ring. Okay, I am just finishing up on... Getting all of these labeled, it does take time. Um, I've been at this probably 30 minutes. <laughs> so, but I have also peeled off a couple of tags and redone a couple. So, I will tell you it's easiest if you write these as you go. Now, another good reason to do this, do you see all these reds and browns right in here? Believe it or not, only this one right here is a red red. That's this one. This is not red. That's brown. The barrel of this is a red color. It's a brown. There's only one true purple, this one. This, that's the silvery color or that gray. Um, the colors that are across the top are the ones that came from Hobby Lobby. It's their fine touch brand. The ones that are across the bottom are the ones that I got imported from AliExpress on China, from China. They are Marco. This is what the box looked like on the ad. So there's that. Um, like I said, I am almost finished here. 
after going through and using each and every color, I will tell you that um, the metallic started to show up more and more as they were used. So maybe there was something on the tips to help them with traveling. I don't know. But um, I am happy with them. I, I guess maybe what I'm looking for is more of a glitter pencil. Something that's really got some shimmer and shine like my um, Super Doodle gel pens do. But overall, I'm pleased with these. If I could only get one set, I would get the Marcos. The main reason being, not only are they creamy, but look at the colors across the bottom. See all the different colors? Now, look at the colors just across the top. Not nearly as pretty as the ones on the bottom. Not to me. They're more subdued. So now all of these get piled up. And I will make a... Um, cover for these. In fact, I will go back through and put them from low to high and they will get a um, color swatch that just says Metallics, Marco and Hobby Lobby and um, put them all on the same ring. Let's see what else. I will still look for another brand just because I do like metallic pencils and I would like to see if there's not something out there that really has that shimmer I'm looking for. These are pretty good and for what I've paid I don't think I have maybe five or six dollars sunk into the to all of them, all 24. So um, again that's that's not bad. I'm going to leave this open because I still need to make my cover. But anyway, um, that's that. The next thing I will do is go sit down in front of the TV and put some tape around each one of these to make sure that the little numbers stay on. But that's it. Swatches, metallics, finished. All right, go have a good day.